Good morning, National Dayers! It's Mrs. Erickson. Today is Thursday, July 21st. It is the 202nd day of the year. There are 163 days left. Happy National Hot Dog Day! Okay, National Dayers, so it doesn't happen often, but it happens. Mrs. Erickson made a mistake. I had everything ready to go for today, thinking it was National Hot Dog Day, which was yesterday. So we're gonna just bring this along and make it National Junk Food Day and celebrate with hot dogs. July 21st dedicates a giant menu of items to National Junk Food Day. Each year, the day permits us to chow down on the foods we don't usually include in our daily diet. Junk foods, by definition, typically contain high fats, sugars, salt, and calories, and very little nutritional value. With the advent of packaged foods during the late 1800s, junk food made its way into American life. Still, home-cooked meals remained the standard for several more decades. Eventually, after World War II, the junk food industry took off. Since the population ate out more, traveled more, the industry was primed to produce products at an increased rate. While deep-fried, fat-laced foods increase our waistlines, cholesterol and blood sugar numbers, an occasional indulgence shouldn't impact a healthy, diverse diet and lifestyle. Snack a little. Chow down on your favorite chip, dip, or treat. In fact, treat the family or workplace to a beverage or takeout. But remember, it's National Junk Food Day. Take it easy. Today is also Take a Monkey to Lunch Day, No Pet Store Puppies Day, and National Be Someone Day. It's time for super spectacular shout outs. Our shout out today goes out to Miss Amy and everyone in the ESY Trails program at Signet School in Midland, Michigan. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for your support and I hope you loved your shout out. Teachers, if you'd like to get your class a shout out, just complete the Google form. The link can be found below this video in the description. And here it is, our updated super spectacular shout out map. Well, I think it's about time we played with our food, don't you? Gather the following ingredients. Hot dogs, ketchup, and mustard. Oh, you'll also need a knife too. So what you're gonna do is you're going to take one hot dog and you're going to cut it in half lengthwise, leaving about one inch at the top not cut. And then turn it over and do the same thing, cut it halfway leaving an inch at the top, and then turn it diagonally and do it four more times. So you'll have eight cuts. Then the cool thing is, is when you put this in the microwave for 30 seconds, all of those little things you cut are going to curve around like tentacles on an octopus. Then all you gotta do is decorate his face and you have an octopus hot dog. How neat was that one? Okay, National Dares, how great is it that the octopus's little legs curled up when we put him in the microwave? I didn't even know it was gonna do that. It's like a magical surprise. This is yet another thing we figured out how to make food that looks like an animal. We're pretty great, aren't we? All right, National Dares, whether you get a hot dog that looks like an octopus or just a regular one in your belly today, try to get a hot dog in your belly today. Keep smiling, have a thoughtful Thursday, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye. Woo. I kind of feel bad eating him. He's so cute. Mmm.